let us continue our discussion of general equilibrium analysis of basic trade model and in the previous lecture we had looked at constant cost ppc and now we'll look at increasing cost ppc in the case of two goods suppose we are looking at a country called the us which produces two goods clothing and food and the blue curve is the ppc and as you can see in an absolute terms the slope of this ppc continues to increase or what we are looking at is the increasing cost ppc and then we are given a domestic price line represented by this red colored line and then we are given a community indifference curve for the us now this point here represents the point of tangency between production uh, as well as consumption or in other words the point of tangency between the ppc the domestic price line and the community indifference curve so this point of tangency must be the equilibrium in the us in autarky and here consumption and production equilibrium coincide so you drop this point to the horizontal axis and you find out that in autarky the us produces and consumes 3000 units of clothing and you take this point to the vertical axis and you find that us produces and consumes 600 units of food now in this diagram once again ea represents equilibrium in autarky for the us where the us produces and consumes 3000 units of clothing and also produces and consumes 600 units of food so we have this under autarky now suppose the us decides to engage in foreign trade and the world price is represented by this green solid line and we already know that the slope of a price line represents price of clothing divided by price of food or simply the relative price of clothing and steeper the price line higher will be the relative price of clothing so compare this green solid line to the red solid line and what you find is with free trade the relative price of clothing has increased another thing you will observe is that this green solid line is tangent to the ppc at this point pe which stands for production equilibrium this must be the best point for the us you drop this point to the horizontal axis and you know how much clothing will be produced by the us under free trade it will be 3500 units of clothing what about food you take this point pe to the vertical axis and you have determined how many units of food will be produced by the us and it will be 500 units now another thing you'll observe is that this green line or the world prices are tangent to the community indifference curve and this point of tangency is called c which represents the best point from consumption perspective and this is called the consumption equilibrium so you take this point to the horizontal axis and you have determined how many units of clothing would americans consume it will be 3000 units of clothing now look at the following under free trade the us is producing 3500 units of clothing and consuming only 2000 units of clothing that means 1500 units of clothing must be exported by the us now let us move on to the food side and what you find is at consumption equilibrium under free trade 
the consumption of food by Americans will be 1,000 units. How much of food is produced in the U.S.? It is 500 units. So the difference of between 1,000 units and 500 units, which is 500, so 500 units of food will be imported by the U.S. when we have this green world price line. So in a way, this diagram conforms to what we would expect when relative price of clothing goes up, U.S. exports clothing and imports food. Another thing you'll observe is this community indifference curve is supposed to rep represent welfare of people living within a country. And what you find is this community indifference curve is further away from the origin relative to what we had under autarky. Or in other words, the welfare of people living in the U.S. increases when we have free foreign trade. The second point you will note as far as this diagram goes is the following. And compare this situation to what we had under constant cost PPC. Under constant cost PPC, each country specializes in production of only one good and does not produce the other good with free trade. When you have increasing cost PPC, what you find is U.S. produces both goods even under free trade. Or what we have under increasing cost principle is incomplete specialization in production and that simply means this country will continue to produce both goods even under free trade. Now let us look at the case of India and in this diagram what I'll show is equilibrium under autarky in India. Once again the blue curve indicates the PPC for India and this again is an increasing cost PPC. Why? Because as you move down the curve in an absolute sense, the slope of PPC is increasing. And the purple curve shows the community indifference curve and this bold red line is the price line in autarky or when there is no trade. So you find this point EA prime is the common point of tangency between community indifference curve, domestic price line, and the PPC. And so this is must be the point of equilibrium in autarky in India. You drop this point to the horizontal axis, and you know 800 units of clothing will be produced and consumed in India. You take this point to the vertical axis and you know 1200 units of food will be produced and consumed in India. Once again this point EA prime represents equilibrium in autarky in India where in India 800 units of clothing are produced and consumed and 1200 units of food are produced and consumed in India when there is no foreign trade. Now, India, like the U.S., decides to engage in foreign trade, and the world price line is this green solid line. And this green solid line reflects the relative price of clothing. And what you'll observe is that this green solid line is relatively flatter relative to the red solid line. That means when India engages in foreign trade, from India's perspective, the relative price of clothing will be cheaper or the relative price of food will be higher. And that means India, based on what we know, India will be exporting food and importing clothing. So let us show the same thing in terms of this diagram. So this green world price line is tangent to the PPC at this point PE, which we call production equilibrium. And this is where Indians must be producing. And how much of clothing do they produce? Just take this point to the horizontal axis. And we know 500 units of clothing will be produced in India. What about food? 
take this point to the vertical axis and we know 1500 units of food must be produced in India. Now, once again, look at this green solid line and this is tangent to the community indifference curve at this point. And so this point represents consumption equilibrium for India under free trade. You take this point to the horizontal axis and how much units of clothing will be consumed in India? It will be 2000 units. You take this point to the vertical axis. How many units of food will be consumed in India? It will be 1000 units. Now in India, 500 units of clothing are produced and but the consumption of clothing is 2000 units. That means 1500 units of clothing must be imported from the US. Now remember how much of clothing was being exported by the US? It was $1,500, 1500 units. And so 1500 units of clothing is being imported by India. Now let us look at the food side and in India 1500 units of food is produced but how much food is consumed in India? It is 1000 units. So the balance 500 units of food must be exported to the US and if you remember the imports of food by the US is 500 units. So once again exports and imports match between these two countries. So so this is how we would represent foreign trade equilibrium for India. And once again, observe things that we observed for the US. Number one, community indifference curve under free trade is further away from the origin relative to what we had under autarky. That means the welfare of citizens of India has increased with free trade. Another thing you observe is because we have increasing cost principle, that means even with free trade, India continues to produce both goods, food and clothing. Let us summarize all that we have learned by looking at general equilibrium analysis for explaining foreign trade. The first thing we learn is if relative price of clothing is lower, in autarky in the US relative to India. And as long as we can find a world price which lies between these two extreme autarky prices, in such a case, US will export clothing and import food. And India will do exactly the opposite. India will import clothing and export food. And since we have two countries, Ultimately, the exports of one country must equal the ex imports of the other country. So U.S. export of clothing must equal India's import of clothing and India's export of food must equal U.S. import of food. We know that foreign trade is a mixed bag. Some of us are happy and some of us are unhappy. But in an overall sense, the residents of a country are much happier with foreign trade relative to autarky and this can be shown through community indifference curve. Another thing we know is when we have constant cost PPC, foreign trade results in complete specialization. That is each country produces only one good and stops producing the other good. However, with increasing cost PPC, we know foreign trade results in incomplete specialization. That simply means that both countries will continue to produce both goods even under foreign trade. So what we have done is we have examined explanation of foreign trade in a general equilibrium setting. When we have constant cost PPC, we have also looked at this when we have increasing cost PPC. The only one I'm holding off for some time is the discussion of foreign trade when we have decreasing cost PPC, but that is something we'll consider at a later date. So thank you for your time.